This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a super quick neon style effect that can be applied on text as well as on shape layers and it's super easy to create and very customizable. So that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. Let's keep this 1920 by 1080 30 FPS 10 seconds long and let's call this render as our main render comp. Press OK. Select the text tool and then you can of course type in anything that you want. I'm going to type in neon sign. You can use this font if you want to looks pretty cool but for now i will be using a different one so i'll use an objective thin font and let's align the text into the center so let's go ahead and add a little bit of animation to this text so i'm going to select the text layer go into animation go into add text selector and let's add a wiggly selector and then I can go ahead and increase the wiggles per second to three and then go right here in the, into the property and add an opacity, set the opacity to around 25%. So if I preview this, we have this nice wiggling opacity animation. Then let's select this layer again, go into animation, add text selector and add a range selector. And then go right here in the animated two property and let's add opacity set this down to zero now at the very start let's set the offset to minus 100 create a keyframe i'll go to around two seconds and let's set this to all the way up to 100 then go into advanced properties and let's change the shape from square to ramp up and then turn on a randomized order so now we have this really nice reveal for our text which looks very very nice now to create the glows, I will be using drop shadow instead of the default glow. So let's select the text layer, go into effects and presets and search for drop shadow. Double click to apply that. And you can of course take any color that you want. So I'm going to go with a nice orange one for this. Let's increase the opacity all the way up to 100 and change the direction to 180 degrees. Bring down the distance to 0 and let's increase the softness to 10. Then select it again, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And all I have to do is keep on increasing the softness. So let's set this to around 25. Let's duplicate this one more time. Let's increase the softness to 100. Duplicate this one more time. Set this to around 400 should be good. Yep, one more time, control D and set this to around 1000. And then finally one more time and let's bring down the opacity this time to around 15%. So right off the bat, you can see we get this really nice glow, neon glow basically. And it's looking very, very cool. Now there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind wherever, whenever we are working with these kind of effects that you may get such color bendings whenever working with glows so to fix this we need to do two things first of all let's switch this to 16 bits so hold alt and uh, click to switch to 16 bpc this should help us avoid any kind of color bendings and to even take this a bit more further in order to fix it i'll create a new adjustment layer call this noise go into effects and presets search for noise effect and there we have noise HLS double click to apply that and let's increase the lightness to 1.2 and this will add some nice little bit of noise into the complete scene and that will help us to get rid of any kind of color bendings then let's also add a background so I'm going to add this background texture that I have I'll scale this down like so press ctrl y to create a new solid called this BG for background press ok and place it at the bottom Select the texture, go into effects and presets and search for an effect called curves. Double click to apply this 
and let's drag this point like so so we have a nice kind of a wall texture for our neon sign and boom there we have this nice animation one more cool thing that you can do is now the best part about this uh, design that it can be quickly edited so if i want i can quickly change the text to something different so let's type in dope motions and we have the complete animation you know pretty quick and easy i can even change the font if i want to i can make this smaller or bigger i can even add more shapes to this so for example i can go right here select the ellipse tool and make sure the fill is set to none let's add a stroke of four pixels and create a circle like so all right and then select the layer select the rectangle tool switch to mask mode and then let's create a mask like this and invert that mask so we have something like this all right and then i can just simply select the text layer press ctrl a to select all the drop shadow effects and click on this small icon to collapse them and then basically select them all ctrl c and paste it on this one so ctrl v and boom there we go pretty nice and easy now obviously we need to add a, a bit of flicker animation to this and doing this is also very very easy now before we move to the next step let's quickly take a look at our today's sponsor envato elements download unlimited after effects templates logo reveals background music sound effects fonts stock footages templates mockups and more visit the first link in the description and download anything for free for seven days with that said, I also want to tell you guys about Envato Tute Plus YouTube channel. Everything here is entirely free of charge. You can find full courses on topics ranging from Photoshop and in design to After Effects and Premiere Pro, all the way to package designing. The channel gets updated with new content frequently, so make sure to keep checking in to see if there's something new and interesting for you to learn. To know more about them, check the link in the description below. Let's zoom in into our timeline. I'll go at the very start. Press T to bring down the opacity. Bring that down to zero. Create a keyframe. Hold Control and Alt to click and then click on this keyframe to convert that keyframe into a hold keyframe. Go maybe two frames forward. Set this to around 30. Go two frames forward. Set this to around 10. Let's set this to around maybe 60. Then set this to 30 set this to 80 set this to 60 and then set this to 100 then I'll set this to around maybe 60 and finally 100 again so now we have a bit of flickering animation for the shape as well and as you can see it's looking very very cool if i want i can even increase the time duration so i can select all the keyframes hold alt and drag them like so pretty nice and just to finalize this up i'll create a new adjustment layer called this t for transform go into effects and presets and add a transform effect on this and let's animate the scale of this i'll go to around maybe five seconds let's add a little bit of zoom like so so now we have a little bit of camera movement with our text and boom there we have our quick neon glowing text animation inside of after effects without using any plugins so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to like this video comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're watching my video for the very first time you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and nikhil pavar all the links are in the description and in case if you didn't know that i have launched my complete after effects course on my website dope.motions which you can check it out link is in the description below so with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.